Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading for March 30th through April the 6th. Uh, this is my second reading and I can already tell that the energy is different than the last couple of weeks. Some Something has shifted and uh, the stones are coming up differently, the stone people are telling us a different message. This week, last week, everyone got the labradorite that has not come up again. So the messages are different. There has been some kind of a shift. Okay. So your uh, rune this week is the Sawilu rune. The rune of wholeness, vitality, life force is available, solace, recharge and regenerate. Your first stone is red tiger eye. Confidence, self-esteem, motivation, high energy, vitality and passion. You got the angel aura quartz. Oh, I love these. <clears throat> Optimism, positivity helps restore your faith in humanity and reignites your inner child and connects you with the angels. So I just love that for you. And then you got selenite and this has not come up in a long time. So very interesting. Clarity of mind, expansion of your awareness, soothes your nerves, protects and clears your aura, seals in positive energy, and is known as liquid light. So you got some really awesome stones. I can't wait to see what your cards show up. Everyone has been just so much more positive this week. I, like I said, I just really feel a shift in energy. We have to return to a positive mindset. Yes, change is happening. That change may be the best thing that's ever happened, right? Change is not necessarily bad. What we put into it, what our thoughts and our energy that we put into it is going to make an incredible difference in the outcome. As a collective, all of our energy makes a huge difference. So if you are in a state of positivity and not worrying so much anymore. Um, start thinking about the future. What can we do as we come out of this? What things can we accomplish while we're going through this? We've got to make that change to positivity. Okay, let's see your cards. Oh, nice. Wisdom and gratitude, yes. Be grateful for what you have now. Be grateful for your health, for being protected, um, for the people in your life. That, that will make you turn toward a more positive mindset right there. Regardless of, you know, being have, having to stay home and all this stuff, <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you <clears throat> are safe and the ones that you love are safe, be grateful and voice that gratitude. That's incredibly important. Not to just feel it inside, but to voice it. And then you got storyteller, expansion. How are you going to, this has expanded your life story. 
And somewhere down the road, someone might ask you, what were you doing? Uh, did you go through this pandemic and et cetera? This experience has changed the story of your life. But what do you want to tell those people in the future about what you did? You get a choice to expand your story. Let's see. Oh, we have the Lord. This is coming up a lot. So this is interesting message from Spirit. Take charge with authority. Very interesting. And we have the white witch. Yay. Be the light. That was the message last week for all the signs. Be the light for other people. Oh, oh, how cool. Okay, so in your moon cards, you got nothing will come from this situation. You are going to be just fine. And look what else you got. Expect powerful change. Wow. Cards are right on, right on, right on. And your spirit animals say, ah, porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. There is a deeper uh, look episode on this if you want more information. But it really asks you to do away with all the pre-programming that you've had, what the TV is trying to brainwash you into thinking. Go back to when you were a child. It's time for that beginner mind that sees no limitation, that doesn't fear everything around the corner, that looks at things with awe and um, doesn't have a preset idea. And then you got Pig Spirit. Yay, I love this. He's so cute. Use your mind wisely. Very important message. You can go down the rabbit hole with all of this stuff. Or, as I said, you can start thinking about what opportunities are going to be presented to you coming out of this. Use your mind for the future. Don't get uh, stuck in this mire of negativity. Use your mind wisely. And then ooh, we have spider medicine. Yes, weave your web for the future, what you put out now, the things that you spend your time thinking about, are they productive or unproductive? Do they help you take a step forward or a step back? That is your choice, what you spend your time thinking about right now. All right, that was awesome. And I think you can maybe feel the difference in the energy here. There is nothing negative here at all. And uh, it's all talking about the future. Assuring you that nothing bad is going to come out of this situation. That powerful change is coming. And that you, at this time, it's very important how you think. Both of these cards are about the mind and about what you spend your time thinking about right now. So it's very, very important. And you are asked, again, to be the light. Be the positive force. Okay, so we're going to set our stones in our rune. Our red tiger eye is very, very powerful. And I'm going to put that on expect powerful change. And we have our angel aura quartz are just so beautiful. They do remind you of an angel. They do me anyway. 
And we're going to put those on the white, which be the light. We have our rune, wholeness, vitality, recharge, regenerate. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put that one on the porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. This rune is just so positive and kind of free to think like you did when you were a child. Nothing is impossible. No dream is too high, too big. And then we have our selenite clarity of mind and expanding your awareness. It also soothes your nerves. I'm going to put that on the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely because it says clarity of mind and expanding your awareness. Okay, and let's draw your quote. Quote for my little fishies. If the world was blind, how many people would you impress? Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please stay safe. Take care of those around you. And start feeling this shift of positivity that is coming your way. Because it is. This is really coming your way. Lots of strength, positivity, optimism. Everything is going to be okay. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.